Right, okay, so you saw these pages the other day. Um, oops, stuck under the camera. And I was making this, well I've been making lots of this because I'm trying to build a stash for my new class because I'll be showing how to do all this in the new class. But So I was trying to get ahead already um, and build a stash of these frothy bits. And I put this, but I can't help working with it. So I put this together for the lining for this and I hadn't made a decision about the cover. But now I'm thinking this might make a nice cover. The needle's still in because what I'm doing without going into too much detail they're all different things some cloth that i've made on the sewing machine uh some bought laces and some bought net and if, well not bought found net it's vintage net um and put it all together and i'm stitching where the edges are where there's loose bits and things um so there's a lot of i don't know if you can see there's a lot of buttonhole lace going on here i just love to do buttonhole lace in these situations. I just think it really enhances and there's nothing straight going on here. I'm literally following the lines, the natural lines of all the piecing when I've pieced it all together. So that's why my needle's still in there. And it, it's so time consuming and that is never, if I say something's time consuming, it's never said as a complaint. I love it, I get lost in it. I sit in front of the TV and I do this and the night just flies by. Now some of it is fixed down, so that's a fixed seam, but then some of it was just naturally coming away and not essential to be fixed down. The piece still holds in place and the same here. So it's even got like little pockets on the surface. Um, let's see if I can find any more, because like I say, it's not all, well, mostly over here. The lifty up bits. So there's a lifty up bit there. Uh, one there. That's all I can find for now. Oh, there's one there as well. I mean, I just, well, I just love it. So I need to stop sewing on this. I need to build a stash and not use it before then. But anyway, so I thought it might make a nice cover for this. And um, the inside, that's what the back looks like. So the inside of this would be. like that and then that would they would be put in here these pages and then that would be the cover I think that and then I think well it's quite plain because everything that's in here that's going on in here is very bright isn't it but then does it matter I can't decide you see that's it helps to make a video but I do think there's a nice contrast maybe between the cover and what's going on inside. And that would be the back. Um, but like I say, the lining, how do I do anything with the lining? I like that. I like the softness of that and the fluffiness of that. So I might not, but then I've still, there's a lot, lot of work to do on here because I need to decide what I'm going to do with these edges. Now I could leave them, I'm minded to leave them, but these ones I'll be pulling bits of thread off these for the rest of my life if I leave them but then does that matter do I care about that these are all things I have to decide so that's probably what's going to happen and you're probably thinking as well that doesn't go right to the edge well it doesn't matter I don't care about things like that and it doesn't go right to the edge at the back either but it's a, a reference to a cover it's a reference to protection so when it's joined, it'll be like that. So that would be kind of like a spine and that'd be like that. And then I'm going to have quite a collection of little books. Um, just wondering how many I've got. Just stay there a minute. Stay there a minute like you can go anywhere. Um, so let me get these just together. These are not my artist books from artist book class. But these are like, I think, 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 this is them. So this is the one that I made as a sample for the new class. This is one that I made in a class last year. This is my go-to, my lovely, lovely stitch sample book that I absolutely adore. And then in here, you won't have seen this. This is what we made in the last embroidery school. So this is like a little rolled book of samples with pockets that have got buttons in. Um, I don't think you've seen this. 
So I'm getting quite a little collection going on here. So they've all got buttons in these little pockets. We made all these in the last embroidery school. Um, so, lovely, I'm going to have to buy another cabinet soon, I think. Because all these are for me, these are so precious to me. I just want to like hug them. That's and hug them and hug them and then probably crease them and wreck them. But so anyway, back to that cover. Back to that cover. I mean, what's not to what's not to like? I guess. I think yeah, I've made a decision. It's definitely going to be the cover. But like I say, there's an awful lot of work to do. Um, still, there's a lot of this still needs to be done. Need to make a decision about the edges. Um, but yeah, that's me touching base and hopefully an illustration to you that I'm getting there. I'm getting back to my normal self.